So we're going to start this flow chart out with FEV1 over FBC. And I'm going to discuss this later too. So FEV1 over FBC. If it's a lot decreased, or if it's just mildly decreasing close to normal, if it is much decreased, plus you have an increase in the total lung capacity and residual volume, you have an obstructive disease. And that is asthma or COPD. For the restrictive diseases, we have basically by etiology, so you've got sarcoid, pneumoconiosis, asbestosis, those are like the main ones, but there are many others. Now between um, asthma and COPD, remember that asthma is going to improve slightly on bronchodilator therapy. So if you were to repeat these tests after uh, bronchodilator therapy, you would see some improvement. And that's not the case with the COPD. And COPD, within that, between bronchitis and emphysema, Emphysema is going to have uh, an abnormal or decreased DLCO because of destruction of alveoli, and bronchitis will have a normal DLCO. You need to know the individual etiologies. That's the main. That's the main differentiating factor. Asbestosis has an association with bronchioalveolar carcinoma and mesothelioma. Sarcoidosis, tuberculosis.